Hello to everyone. And it's great to have you on board for the Big Five Digital Festival Africa. It's now just a couple of weeks away, so we thought we would release a series of videos to guide you through the process of exhibiting at the festival. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Louisa Walton. I'm the Head of Marketing for the Construction Division here at DMG Events. And as I said, we will be releasing a series of videos over the next few weeks to really guide you through the process for the festival and to make sure that you get the best return on your investment for those two days in July and also afterwards. This video is really a case just to explain step by step a few of the different actions and a few of the different um, items that you will have to, you, it's best that you do. Um, but obviously, if there's any questions that you have at all, please do not hesitate to get in touch with myself or one of the teams, and I'll leave my email address right at the end of this video so that you can please feel free to get in touch at any time and we'll, we're there for you, we'll, we're, we're here to, to, to support you. We um, understand that this is new to, to you, so hopefully these videos will be a good way to explain it in step by step. So the first one, this video is the step one of updating your profile. And this really is probably the most critical part of the process. Um, and without which um, your exit, you know, the visitors, the, the buyers that will be there over the, the two days of the event won't be able to find you. If you think about it as really kind of your shop window, so you, you know, you invest so much money and so much time in making sure that that shop looks the best it can do so that you're tr attracting people when they, when they come by. And it's the same on the, in the digital space. So this digital kind of um, area, this digital booth is really your shop window and your showcase to, to kind of um, explain about your company, about the products. And this video will kind of guide you through that. And so what will happen first? Firstly, you will receive an email from, um, from one of the teams and this will have your username and your password and a link where you can click on to update the, the, um, your profile. So let me just open this email now and let me share my screen. Before we go into the how-to guide, I really wanted to flag up some key dates. So from the 7th of July, which is a Tuesday, that is when attendees will actually be able to log into the system and update their profile and start scheduling meetings with exhibitors. So it's really key at that point to make sure that your profile is up to date. So please flag up the Monday, the 6th of July, so the day before, to make sure that your profile is completely 100% complete. Because what you don't want is visitors to land on your profile and not have completely accurate information or an incomplete profile. And because you really want to be able to capture those at that time. So Monday the 6th of July is the date that you really should update as much information and have your profile 100% complete. That's not to say that after, the, you know, after, after that date you can't make updates to it, add more products, that's entirely fine. But please make sure that by you know, the end of the day on Monday the 6th of July, the profile is completely updated. So here is the email that you will receive. Here it will say that you'll have a link and then you'll also have a username and you'll have a password. So from here, you just click on this link and it will take you into the website. And so on this website, oops, come there. on this website, you'll just go to the top here, top right saying login and you'll just click on this button. So on here, there'll be a pop up where you will have to put your email and uh, your, all your username and your password. So if we just go back into here, so we just copy over the username. And then the password as well. And we'll just log in on here. So you'll land on this. And it will just ask you just to save your password and your username so that next time you go in, you won't also have to then reset uh, to then kind of paste in your username and password. It will automatically log you in. So you'll land on a page such as, as this, which will say edit profile. So if you look along all the tabs you can see here, there is lots of different steps for you to update your profile. So first here, 
you will want to upload your logo, pick out one here, and this can be in PNG or JPEG formats. Within here, you can then just change the size, you can make it bigger, um, you can just change it as, um, as, you, as you like, you make it smaller, wider, bigger, um, and then just create a size that you're happy with. And here, you will see, you'll be able to see a preview in terms of all the different and what it looks like so that you can make sure that nothing is chopped off, nothing is, is just everything is how it should be. And then you just press the green button, click confirm, and then it, then it appears here. Your company name and email address will automatically be already loaded onto the system, but if you want to change that, you're more than um, you know, welcome to do that so you can change that. You then want to add in your, um, your country and then your email address, so your website. just add in a city and then your telephone number and then an address and again the address and then just click save so at each section you must make sure that you're clicking save and then just processing please wait and then profile successfully edited Again, you can go back here if you think, no, do you know what? I want to change this? I want to change the name. We need to add in a different website. Then you can do. So next step, and then it will just appear um, just there with it with a tick. The next one is a company overview. And then this is really where your, um, your profile will appear and it'll be visible on the website. There's, um, as it mentions here, there's no word limit and, and you can update it at any time. So as a company, you know, you want to focus on your the areas of focus and um, bit of background and history and then obviously with the more content that you add the more that visitors and the buyers will engage with your company so if we just go back to here we just have a company overview here um, and we'll just copy that and and then paste that into into here on here if you want to make it uh, center aligned if you want to make parts of it bold or unbold then you can do if you want to make um, you know it can be larger the font it can be um, you can make it and um, look parts of it different you can change colors you can do everything at this and then again just click save and then Go back up to the top. Next is the product categories. So within here, you can add in as many and um, whichever product categories are relevant to your company, then do a bit. But remember that we also have kind of subcategories within this. So under you know building and services, we have different categories. So you're best off just adding in each of the, the different categories as well at the same time. So not just this this top one but also each of the individual ones too. And then here it will just um, navigate over to the right hand side. So you can just check if it's not right, then just, you know, just delete it from here. But this really is key to allow um, the networking and the matchmaking from the attendees. So the attendees, when they register, will be asked to find out what product categories they're interested in. And then here is what you can provide. So therefore, they will be um, matched with your, your profiles and um, navigate over to the right hand side so you can just check if it's not right then just you know just delete it from here but this really is key to allow um, the networking and the matchmaking from the attendees so the attendees when they register will be asked to find out what product categories they're interested in and then here is what you can provide so therefore they will be um, matched with your your profiles um, kind of matching into and uh, kind of intelligently matched with those visitors. So again, just press save and then that's okay. Then we have um, here, so we can have a video in this area and that will also appear. So if we just go into here, we have a video link and we will just copy this video link into the profile and then click save. 
we do this by um, a YouTube link rather than a file to really kind of make sure that the back end is not so heavy so that it allows for a better user experience. So with, with people with different internet speeds and different bandwidths, they can then view it a lot easier rather than having lots of files and hard, you know, heavy files on the back end. Um, within here, this is the notification settings, and this is where you will be notified when someone interacts with yourselves, um, whether they like your products or they request meetings. And really, this is really key. So this is why we have automatically um, already um, set them as standard, um, as you know, um, by default, as turn them all notifications on. But if you do want to um, hide those, then you you know, if you don't want to find out when. Um, you know, rescheduling notifications. If, you, if there was a reason why you were there, you can turn that off. Again, just press save. Step by step, you will also have your C on the right, on the left hand side, sorry, the uh, profile completeness. So we know that at the moment we're 50% complete. Mm. So within this section, here is where we can upload in files such as press releases, brochures that um, the, the, the attendees will be able to download. So here is just if you want some um, images about the, the company. So this isn't, this isn't product images, but um, there's another section for that, but you can also add in the products in here and then we just, um, uh, just tick to upload. There is a maximum size here of 10 MB. So make sure that they're, they're below. Again, this is just to make sure that the back end isn't too heavy. Um, and that people can download it um, as, as best that they can do. So you can just, you can, you, you'll be able to see these here. You can delete them if you think that actually, do you know why I don't want that? Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's quite easy. And then you can add in, add in as many as you want. Again here, so images is PDFs or PNGs and media files are the, um, are the product, uh, are the, the PDFs. So if we want here, can have a brochure and then so it's just a PDF brochure that we've uploaded and then we just click the green button and it's done and then there you go you can see we'd already had it um, added on here so we actually have two here so we'll just delete one of them this is done from before and then this is already on there and then we go to team members this is where you can add in multiple team members within your company. So we do um, have a, a maximum of five, five num team members. Otherwise, it does get quite difficult for you to manage. So because obviously, you know, each team member can then log on and do their own networking on the days and also beforehand and setting up meetings. And any more than five people will get a little bit difficult to, to work out, you know, maybe you might have multiple meetings with the same buyer or the same attendee. So that's why it's limited to, to five. So just to add a team member, you just click on this button and we will just add in, um, we've just got a couple of my colleagues here. So this is my colleague Rima's email address and we'll just pop her email in there and we'll just validate that. And, and then on here, we will just put Rima. telephone number in again and title and their role um, as um, as admin because then they can either as admin they can log in and update your profile or if you just if you don't want to allow anyone to actually upload and um, change your profile just add them as a company member and then you can just go click save and we can keep doing that for as many people in here. This person, this person will appear. At that time, then Rima will receive an email to let her know that she has been added as a team member for, for yourselves. And she will then be able to link, click in the link and then update her profile. So she'll be able to put her image in there and, and edit her profile as well. And then if you want to do another one, you simply just click on Add Team Member again. So this is all of the different um, edit on the profiles that will need to happen. And then we click on the product catalog. 
So within this section is where you will be able to upload all the information about your products. And again, this is really key to make sure that you're showcasing as many products as you wish to showcase and you have as much information on there as possible. There is an area that once you do add in all the profiles, you can make them inactive if you don't really want to show them just yet, if you're kind of waiting for approval or you know, clearance, but um, by default, they're, they're all active. So if we just go to here and we click add product, and then we then add in a photo, and then we'll just put uh, with this image. Again here, just like the logo, you can make the size of it change, and then you see the preview. So just make sure that that image is as, is, as big as possible within it with kind of as little white space around it so that it's as, as large as it can be. And we just click click um, add. You can add in other products, uh, other, other images. So if you've got multiple images for the product, you can keep adding the photos. Again, this is a maximum size of 10 um, MB. And then within here, you can then add in the category. So on here, again, it goes back to the product categories that you will have seen on, under the profile. So if you just make sure that here, it is just tagged in terms of what product, what category that this product relates to. So you don't want to kind of just make sure that it's just the relevant, relevant ones within, within that category. And you click save. And then here, you can can add in um, your the descriptions again like on the on the profile for your company you can make this different sizes so if you want to make it um, different fonts and different sizes then you can do to emphasize some some aspects of it and, and then here you then click save Oh, sorry. Also, and this is where the, the system is very um, clever in terms of it won't let you upload information if, if not everything is complete. So here, the product name. So we have to make sure that we, that we also have a product name that we add in there as well. So again, it just it gives that, um, that reassurance that you're adding everything that, that you need to, or else it won't let you happen. It won't let it, um, let it continue. And that's it for the how-to guide for updating your profile. I hope you found it useful. And as I say, if there's any questions at all that you have, please do not hesitate to contact us. And my email address will be at the end. Um, or there's many people within the team that can also help. So this is the first in a series of um, videos to help you guide you through this process. Uh, look out for future videos in terms of how to network, how to uh, schedule meetings, and how to make the most out of your participation. So we'll be releasing those videos in the next couple of weeks. So that's it. Um, hope, again, I hope you found it useful and um, I look forward to working with you over the next few weeks. I wish you a really successful festival. Thank you.